Granny used to tell me all the time Sparks when feet and preparation combine The road been right here all this time But you gotta look with more than your eyes And the small axe Jesse Ryle representing for I just star mindset Rich forever Blessed love, manners and respect Do give thanks and praise for life This is the mindset program I just star and your host and I'm here, it's a great honor to be here with the Honorable Muta Baruka. Yeah Lord man, give thanks Muta. man, Rastafari. Right? Yes sir, give thanks. First and foremost, I want to congratulate you on your lifetime well, achievement. achievement man. Yeah, well. I repent. Yes. Yeah, but we don't get it yet. We don't get it yet. No, the 24th. Right, the mindset, talk provoking. You know. I'm your host, Honorable Ida Star, and we're there with our brand new mindset series live on the YouTube. Subscribe, Ida Star Mindset Channel, YouTube. Blessed love.
Yeah, I said love. And as a man as do give thanks and praise for life. I want to greet the item in the divine name of his imperial majesty, Emperor E. Selassie I, the first, Holy Man I, King Selassie I, Ja Rastafari. Do welcome. Warm welcome again. Another mindset program. I just time your host. And um, yeah, it's great to be here. Great to have the item on board. You don't know, life um, is the greatest position. Nothing no greater than life all we are going. So, you know what I mean? Yeah, a little more oil in our lamp. You know, keeping it burning. Yeah. Yeah, we're keeping the fire burning for um, a celestial scene. Yeah, and also a metaphysical, physical scene and spiritual. Yeah, keeping the fire burning with a little more oil in our lamp. Yes, I give thanks and praise. Warm welcome again. This is a continuation um, from the ancient mystery of Melchizedek Zin, where um, we have the first video up saying Melchizedek did have a mother. All right, and um, we have a continue from where we left off. And I want to apologize for the um, bad audio from the first video. And I hope this audio that is coming through today is um, much better than um, the previous scene. So my apologies again, just um, some technicality at the time beyond our control, but I um, think it's all in control now. So. We're going to continue from which part we did, um, what we did left off. See? Yeah, and reading from, um, reading from this book. All right. This is the book that we're reading from. The ancient mystery of Melchizedek. See? So we have a continue from which part we left off and what we did left off, um, the mother, Melchizedek, mother did, um, you know, pass away. Seeing and out came Melchizedek out of the body of his mother. All right. After she passed away. And that is how the story um, played out. And that story are... Uh, that story is taken from um, the book of Enoch, seeing where I must find it. There's somewhere about the place here, and we need to find it. See? So we will continue, my brothers and sisters. Give thanks to the item presence again as we journey. See? And behold, Melchizedek will be the head of the 13 priests who exist before and afterward in the last generation, there will be another Melchizedek, first of 12 priests, and the last will be head of all, a great archpriest, the word and power of Yahweh who will perform miracles greater and more glorious than all previous ones. Melchizedek will be priest and king in place, a place, a kunsun, that is to say, in the center of the earth where Adam was created and there will be his final grave. And in 
the connection with the archpriest, it is written, how he also will be buried there, where the center of the earth is just as Adam has also buried his own son there, Abel, whom his brother Cain murdered. I know that the great confusion has come, and in confusion, this generation will come to an end, and everyone will praise, will perish, except that Noah, my brother, Noah, my brother, will be preserved, and afterwards, afterwards, there will be planting from his tribe and there will be another people and another Melchizedek, the head of the priest reigning over the people, reigning over the people and performing liturgy from Elohim, the almighty creator. And when the child had been 40 days in their tent. Elohim, the Almighty Creator, said, no, said to Michael, Go down to the earth to Ner the priest and take the child. Melchizedek, who is with him, and place him in paradise of Eden for preservation. For the time is approaching, and I will pour out all the water unto the earth. And everything that is on the earth will perish. Michael hurried, and he came down when it was night, and Nur was sleeping on his bed. And Michael appeared to him and said, Thus said Yahweh, Nur said the sent the child to me that I entrusted to you. And Nur, not realizing who was speaking to him, responded in fear, The child is not with me. I don't know who you are. And he and he was speaking and he was speaking to him and answered and he who was speaking to him answered, Don't be frightened, Nur. I am Elohim, angel. Elohim has sent me, and behold, I have taken, I, I am taking the child today. I will go with him, and I will place him in paradise, Eden, and there, he will be forever. And when the twentieth and when the twelfth generation shall come into being, and there will be one thousand and seventy years, and there will be born in that generation a righteous man, and Elohim will tell him that he should go out to that mountain. Listen good enough. And Elohim will tell that, that he should go out to that mountain where stand the ark of Noah to your brother. And he will find there another Melchizedek, who has been living there for 70 years, hiding himself from the people who sacrificed to idols, so that they may not kill him. He will bring him out, and he will be the first high priest for Eloian. He will be the first high priest for Eloian and king in the city of Salem in the style of this Melchizedek. 
the originator of the priest, the years will be completed up, up to that time, 3,432 years from the beginning of creation of Adam and from that Melchizedek, the priest will be 12 in number until the great Egoin. That is, the leader will bring out every visible and invisible. And nor understand the first dream and believe it. And having answered Michael, he said, Blessed be Elohim, who has glorified, who has glorified you in my eyes this day. Now, bless your servant now, for we approach the end of this world. Take the child and do to him just as Elohim has commanded you. And Michael took the child and the same night and which he had come down, he took him and his wings, he took him and his wings, and he placed him in paradise, Eden, and now got up in the morning, went into the tent, and did not find the child. And there was great grief in his heart, because he had no other son ex except Melchizedek and it and it was then that Ner and ended his life. Here yeah, were the things that the things that he had no other son but Melchizedek. He had no other son. See <laughs> the man I said that in the man I said Melchizedek I'm son and him never have no other son. And when the angel of the Lord, who was Michael, come and take him and bring him upon him wings, you know. hear these things, you know, people, and his wings, I don't know how the eye them um, make that out or um, process that zen. Because, you know, you have a whole lot of angels about the place here, yeah, hovering around. You see me, I say? I don't know if them have wings still. See, I see a whole for them. I have one of them. I don't have no wings still, but I is a different type of angel, and I is a star. Yeah. <laughs> so, the angel take the youth upon him wings and bring him into paradise, Eden. And nor the father of Melchizedek, Zin, was in grief because Melchizedek was his only son. Alright? And him a build him son. Zin, which him son is already a priest. Alright? But nor is of his son priesthood. Of the order of Melchizedek. Sin. Hear all that son. Nor is a priest of the order of his son Melchizedek. Them say Melchizedek and have mother and her father. Sin. But I think that within itself is kind of blown out of proportion all right and the bible bible i think kind of mystified and blew it out of proportion because it is interesting that the bible do not have the book of enoch in it zin very interesting but at the same time the book of enoch probably give a more um, factual and realistic account of Melchizedek than the Bible. 
that are the reality you're saying because watch you now the bible in a matthew where we continue reading from but we just draw a reference as so. without father and without mother see this is matthew 7 um verse 3 without father without mother without descendant having neither beginning of days Zin and the key word they say you know descendant the, 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 it's a uh, the man have no descendant here. See in Belchesedek no, have no descendants. And of course people go and question these things. <laughs> it's only natural. People go and question. How can it be? But the book of Enoch, as I say, I give you a more factual and realistic account of who Melchizedek is and his lineage. Alright? So, what we're there now? Where we're continuing reading. And no, I understand. Because, alright, yeah, nor in his life, you know. When Michael take with Melchizedek, you know, the priest end his life. I don't know if him commit suicide or I don't know. Still, but it say as a and and it was then that Nur ended his life. So I don't know where ending his life mean it sound like suicide. You know, because he was in great grief and then he was also in great age, I assume. See? And, you know, his wife passed away and all sort of thing. You know, he's just a man of faith. I got through some great tribulation there. So let me continue reading. And after him, there was no priest among the people, and great confusion arose up, arose on the earth. And Elohim called Noah to make an ark with 300 lakits in length, and in width 50 lakits, and in height 30, and two stories in the middle, and in the door of one lakit, and the other lakit 300. But ours also five thousand and and so of their fifty, but of yours two thousand and five hundred of theirs thirty, but of yours nine hundred and of theirs unlock it, but of ours fifty. And when the ark was completed, Yahweh opened, you know what I'm going to say, open the flood gates of heavens. And Yahweh opened the door of heaven and poured rain upon the earth for 150 days. And all flesh except Noah and his family were destroyed and Noah was in the year 500 and he fathered three sons Shem, Ham and Japheth after a hundred years. After the birth of his three sons, he went into the ark in the mount of Lar according to, according to the Hebrews and the mount of Fermont according to the Egyptian and the eighteenth day, and the ark floated for forty days, and in all there were in the ark were two was one hundred and twenty days, and he went into the ark, and sons and he went into the ark, a son of six hundred years, and in the six hundred first year of his life he went out from the ark 
in the Mount of Fermont, according to the Egyptian, but according to the Hebrew nation, on the twenty-eighth day after the flood, he lived three hundred and fifty years, and he died. He lived nine hundred and fifty years in all. In all, so he lived three hundred. He lived nine hundred and fifty years in all. See, Melchizedek appearance after the flood. And when Abraham heard that his brother was taken captive, he armed his trained servant born in his own house, 318, and pursued them unto Dan. And he divided himself again against them, and his servant by night smote them. And pursued them unto a bar which was on the left hand of Damascus. And he brought back all the goods, and also brought again his brother Lot and his goods, and the woman's also the people. And the king of Salem went out to meet him after his return from the slaughter of. Chandala and of the king that were with him at all valley of Siva, which he which is the king deal, and Melchizedek king of Salem brought forth bread and wine, and he was the priest of Elohim, and he blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of Elohim possessor of heaven and earth and blessed be Elohim, Elohim which had delivered thine enemies into thine hands and he Abraham gave him tithes of all for this Melchizedek of Salem Priest of Yahweh, Elian, Elian, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings, and blessed him, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all first being, by interpretation king of righteousness, and after that also king of Salem, our peace, whose father and mother were not recorded in the genealogy as such, neither the beginning of his days nor the end of his life, but being a representation of the Son of Yahweh for the, the continuance for the priesthood. Now consider how great this man was and to whom even the patriarch Abraham gave the tent of the spoil. Blessing upon Abraham by Melchizedek, the first high priest of Yahweh, Elohim, the most high power of powers, perfect his spiritual work and prepare him to be the father of the multitude of nation, and when Abraham was nineteen years old, and ninety years old and nine, Yahweh appeared to Abraham, saying, "I am El Shaddai. Walk before me, and be perfect, and I will make my covenant before." me and thee and I will multiply I will multiply thee exceedingly and Abraham fell on his face and Elohim talked to him saying as for me behold my covenant is with thee and thou shalt be a father of a multitude of nation, neither shall thy name 
anymore be called Abraham, but thy name shall be Abraham, for a father of of multitude, a father of multitude of nation, I made thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after thee in thy generation, for an everlasting covenant to be Elohim unto thee and to thy seed after thee. According to the prophetic promises, this great man, Melchizedek, was foretold that there would come one of twelve high priests who would rise up after him to fulfill the office and to teach of the last priestly order through the seed of Abraham, Yahshua was the promise, the holy seed foretold of who would come from the genealogy of Abraham to become the perpetuation the, the the of the order of Melchizedek. For if the blood of bulls and of goat and the ashes of either sprinkle and clean sacrifice for the purifying of the flesh, how much more there the blood of Yahweh who, who through the eternal spirit offer himself without blemish to Yahweh Elohim purge your consciousness from death causing works to serve the living Elohim and for his purpose he is the mediator of the new covenant that by mean of death for the redemption of transgression of the first covenant those which are called mighty receive the promise of eternal inheritance around the year g a c e the fulfillment of the prophet divinely given to abraham took place through the birth of a Hebrew child by a virgin woman named Mary, Miriam. She called the child Joshua, which literally means Yahweh deliver, according to instruction given by the angel Gabriel. This child was destined to be the first of the twelve last priests of last priest after the order of Melchizedek. For, for every high priest taken from among me is ordained for man in things pertaining to Yahweh, that he may offer both gift and sacrifice for sin. Who can have compassion and the ignorant and and them that are out of their way for that he himself also is compassed with infinite infirmity and by reason he sought and by reason he ought as for the people so also for him to offer for sin and no man take it this honor unto himself, but he that is called of Yahweh, as was Aaron, so also the Messiah glorify not himself to be named a high priest, but that said unto him, Thou art my son today, have I begotten thee, as he said. Also in another place, Thou art a priest, forever after the order of Melchizedek. 
who in the day of his flesh, when he had offered up prayer and supplication with strong crying and tears unto him, that he was able to serve to save him from death and was heard for his reverence though he was the son yet he learned obedience by the things he had suffered which having accomplished he became the author of the eternal salvation unto them that obey him called called of Yahweh a high priest after the order of Melchizedek, of whom we have many things to say, and heard of by uttered, seeing ye are, ye are dull of hearing, for when the time you are to be teachers, ye, for thou art the time when you should be teacher, Ye have need that one teach you again, which be the first principle of the oracle of Yahweh, and, and are become such as have need of milk, and not offering, and not repeating, and are become such as have need of milk and not of strong meat for everyone that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness for he is a babe but strong meat belonging to them that are of full age even those who by reason of use having their sense exercised to discern both good and evil, where in Yahweh more abundantly to show unto the heir of promise the inevitable of his counsel, confirm it by an oath that by two inevitable things in which it was impossible for Yahweh to, to, to lie. We might have a strong consolation who have fled for refuge to lay hold upon the hope set before us, which hope we have as another, which hope we have of another of the soul both sure and sat and steadfast in which enter into that within the veil whether the forerunner is for us entered even Yahweh Yahshua made a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. All right, so um, an author Nabiba Melchizedek, the ancient, the ancient Melchizedek as the high priest to Elohim, was the teacher of the holy name of Yahweh, and taught Abraham the use of these meaning, how to invoke and convoke the holy presence of the Most High Creator, Yahweh to bring about blessing, power, and change in his life. The, the lineage of these teachings was passed down from the generation to generation and to Moses who wrote the holy name in the Hebraic Torah Bible and used the power of the holy name delivered the children of Israel out of bondage. The scripture, the scripture and rod of Moses was the Hellenic term 
allegoric at all. In the scripture, the rod of Moses was the allegoric term for the use of the holy name. The prophetical, the prophetically, prophetically, while upon Mount Oko, the mountain of mercy in Nigeria, West Africa, in the year 1979. And, alright, so, I think we are going to leave it right there, so still. And we are gonna leave it right there, so. But um, basically, what we what we what we get from this, you know, zine is that Melchizedek did have a mother and a father, and most of that was um taken from the Book of Enoch. All right, and. As we said, the book of Enoch, for some reason or another, is not in the Bible. See, and why them would leave that out of the Bible? Because the, them information there, see, it going to bring people probably more overstanding on what, what really is and what is not. See, and... You know when you take a pe when you take pieces uh, you know out of the puzzle, then you you kind of hard to find or you know figure out how the part that did the part that it got or how it did look or how it did sound, and that is where we where we sit today, and that's why you know some of the things might sound um, a bit mystical more while. Because things, you know, certain things were missing and taken out, and because people never get to read them, and when when this information come about now, you know, it it sound away because then it start it, it it's like it a go against people belief system, and people where people already um in juice and believe in her. Some of the time, are the hardest thing for you know forget them for you know for see something. You know, if you see something else, you know what I mean? If you, you know, think outside of the box. Come out of the box that you're in, that, you know, you just think that within that, the circumference there is just that. But outside of the circumference, the what is, you know, and that is the bigger picture. Outside of the box is the bigger picture of things. See? So, you know, we have to understand what are going on and we have to know, say, um, we have to use intelligence and we have to use, um, you know, wisdom and, and knowledge and understanding or understanding whichever way. Seeing when we read some things and try to make sense of it and then present it back and the way we, we present it, it's supposed to make more sense to, to, to you know, probably someone who probably are going to read the book and, you know, when they read it again, they say, wow, well, well, so it got for real, you know what I mean? So for the people them who are not reading the books them, you know, when certain things come out as, you know, information see, that you never hear or you never know. You have to just know say, yeah, you're gonna have to do your own research to find out if a search really go. But the thing is not to mystify the thing. As we said the Bible, we see in the Bible it it you know a little bit mystify where it said why um without descent <laughs> you know what i mean without descent you know melchizedek never have no descent see and um if him did have a mother then you know it, it kind of wouldn't work out for him not have no descent because his mother would have a family before see yeah, and that would have been, you know, just like all them say, you know, we in the Caribbean, uh, we in the West here as African people, we are Afri African descent. That is what them try to, um, at, at, you know, show we say, yeah, we are descendants of African. 
but the reality is we are africans you know yeah that is what we are you know we are not descent really we are africans leopard never changed his spot so that is the reality of um the situation right here you know what i mean and um i want to give thanks um for the item taking um the time out for tune in with we here on the platform today and uh, right yeah so we um we seal up you know the item can comment um within the comment section reason with we let we know what the item um make of this whole um reasoning right here and the mindset saying yes i so the program was powered by black star international media over there in um houston texas zin on a some manners and respect all right give thanks and praise for life the item can also um make a donation if the item um love the energy and you know what is being projected here on this platform the item could um cash up us um the link is in the description the item could also um paypal you know and the link would also be in the description all right so give thanks to the item time for the item taking the time it's been um a great honor having the item on board here all right and um yeah look out for the mindset juice roots coming your way very shortly all right yes i so manners and respect peace and love if it's the first time the item are tuning upon the platform here the item could kindly um subscribe to the platform zine so you know we can um you know grow vertical you know what i mean yes i yeah man so manners and respect peace and love until we meet at nigga's feet holy manuel i rastafari peace and love